got me a 2021 Kenworth a T680. Didn't even have that truck 90 days before I wrecked it, totaled it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. And even if you got to isolate yourself from people, do that. Do that. Don't. Don't feel bad about it, cause I don't. Girl, I would go missing in a heartbeat. Oh my god! Really? Yes. 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 Really. Oh my god. Yes. Really. Yes. Really. Shaped world. <laughs> After the interview. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. When you doing on the WE account? Uh, yeah, the WWE. Mm hmm. Yeah, so the I do WWE? all. Yeah, yeah. So right now I do nothing but entertainment. Like what I do now, I do WWE. And when I'm not doing WWE, I go out on tour with different artists. Uh, so I'm on the entertainment side, and I love it. Like I don't do nothing. <laughs> it is now the pay. The pay is different. Um, if you're a company driver, it's 215 a day if you bring your own truck over it's 540 a day plus your per diems and plus whatever hotel buyouts you know depending on what tour you're on yeah and then they pay you your fuel surcharge as well no trailer rental fees they don't and damn 40 dollars a day dollar? yeah whether whether you work or not you know um oh. you still get your but I mean, you're mm -hmm. right because you know a lot has happened to a lot of us collectively. You know, in different things. You know, family. You know, just life. Really, just um, mm -hmm. in, in general. And so, mm -hmm. a lot of us, we all still keep in contact. We all still talk. We all still good friends. We all still got the same mm -hmm. mindset and motive when it comes to doing truck or feeding the homeless. We just needed to get back together. Really. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, it was just a matter of everybody, mm -hmm. you know, getting back together. Right. Me and Choice, we 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 came up with the idea when we were in Dallas for the truck show. Um, that was some years ago, like five years ago, five six mm -hmm. years ago, something like that. Yeah, and we mm -hmm. we went to uh, mm -hmm. Matt and everything like that, and we had so much food left over. And I'm in the kitchen cleaning up, and I'm just like. And I, I was, I said, choice. I said, um, I don't want to throw this food away because I said we were downtown. And I said, we've seen a lot of homeless people down there. I said, why not we just box this up and go down there and just feed everybody? So it was just, a, it started as we just didn't want to throw away all the extra barbecue and everything we had at the house after everybody left. And it was just something that, mm -hmm. you know, it was just there, you know. And I think got me a 2021 Kenworth a T680. Didn't even have that truck 90 days before I wrecked it, totaled it, because I was going yeah. through North Dakota this year. It was earlier this year, the crazy part. I was going through North Dakota. Mm -hmm. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was, yeah. And it was a real bad snowstorm. And um, I got caught on 94. Uh, and as soon as I crossed out of Wyoming going into North Dakota, I got maybe eight miles into the state. As the truck in front of me rolled over because the winds picked up, it was white out conditions. The truck in front of me rolled over. So for me to stop, um, I girl, I hit the brakes because at that time I had Thank a load God. of steel beams in a, in a trailer. So I didn't want to swerve. So I hit the brakes. And when I hit the brakes, I slid off the road in a ditch. <laughs> Just go, girl. Live your best life, shape. You only got one. You can't sit here and work and be in this truck forever. Don't let life pass you by. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. Don't be scared to get out Work and leave the country. The wheel. That ain't the plan. Yeah. First thing first, man, I got to give it to you. That was a hell of an interview. Hell of an interview, Shape. Hell. You sure it kept skipping. No, it kept skipping so much. It, well, I'm, I'm not even going to. I'm I'm not even going to go there with you tonight because this was a beautiful well thought well put together with the exception of the technical difficulties but this was an awesome awesome 
awesome interview. I got to give it to you. Well, thank you. I got to give you. it to you. Um, thank you. Awesome trucker, 18. Shout out to her, the new Passport yeah. Sisters. <laughs> she want to do 60 countries and sis until she's 60, huh? How, Shake Man, yeah. how... How how did this uh how did this come about? How how did this come about? How did this interview well, come about? We we've been we've been popping it behind the scenes for like the last three months almost. And then finally I asked her, I say, Why don't you gonna come on? Because you know I haven't been asking ladies in a while to come on to the platform. And you know, I think in the new year I think I'm gonna start back, right? And you know, she been talking me about the job, but she never did broke it down in detail to like couple to like last week. And I was like, shit, that sounds like heaven. You know what I'm saying? They pay for your meals. You get right, paid we, by the day. Not right, by all right, we're we not going to talk. We're we not going to talk about the. We're we not talk about to talk about the, her her job yet. I, I want to know. I'm I'm still on the I'm still on the point of how did how how did all of this come together? Like like how you just said that y'all was putting it, you know, going back and forth for the last, you know, last three months uh, because of her, you know, schedule, of course. But uh -huh. today, like you didn't even normally you put out, uh, you, you'll, you'll put out something on your Instagram, you know, letting the people know that, you know, that you're going live or whatever. But what, I mean, what was it? You just wanted to make this as a surprise? Well, I wanted to make sure I could get her because, you know, she's, when she's in Canada, we both was nervous about getting any kind of connection at all. And as you can see, that, that was happening. So it was about her driving and me driving and making sure we both can sit still and get the interview done, if you can sort of speak well, this 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 interview right here has 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 been an eye opening experience for this young lady, as as she explained in the video. And guys, make sure you go and check out the interview. It is it is awesome. I I gotta I gotta say, despite <laughs> despite the fact that you know they had audio problems, and you know me, I'm I'm always heavy on shape with her audio, but I I, I, I can't I. I I can't listen. I, I I can't say I, I can't say nothing bad. Nothing bad happened in this video, man, because the conversation was great. The information was on point. Uh, At shared a lot of a lot of pivotal things that we're gonna touch on right quick. Uh, for starters, she's she's not over the road. Well, she's not over the road. She drives for an entertainment company. I.e., she mentioned that it was WWE, but it's it's not owned by WWE. This is just like an entertainment company that that has a contract with WWE, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But they also do in, in other entertainment artists like Blake. She remember she mentioned Blake Shelton and a couple other artists that they also promote and do. So they 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 really entertainment purposes, now, not just wrestling. Now I I don't know if you asked her. Um, I I think you did. I think you asked her if she met a few uh you know a few artists and you know wrestlers. But let me ask you this right quick. Do you af after the whole uh, and everything, and you continue to you know do this sort of do this sort of job? Does it just becomes like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like at first you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, I met Ronda Rousey. I'm going all over the world. I'm traveling with all these wrestlers and 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 being in the arena and and got my stuff for free and all like that. But then, you know, of course, us truck drivers, when we've been doing it for so long, like like for a new truck driver that comes in. You know, we we go to Florida and be like, oh man, yeah. But then you go back to Florida, it's like I've been there already. Do you think did did you get that kind of vibe from her when you was when you was uh, talking to her about her her travels with the entertainment uh, company? 
Um, it was always like positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? It was never nothing negative to say. That's all like it's probably too good to be true. And she like, now nah, sis, it's true. You know what I'm saying? And she keeps telling me that. But you know, I've been through, through so many uh bad companies and do this and that, so I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. From what I heard, I mean not only that she living her best life traveling, but sounds like she she found her found her foot in 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 trucking now because I mean I I met I I actually met a uh, awesome trucker I met her at uh Love's uh years ago uh we was we was part we was part of the the Zello group uh the Stoop and uh, and yeah you know she would come you know she um. She would come in, uh, she would do cooking videos. Like she'll actually do full course meals in the truck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she most definitely will. So, all right, so of course the this type of this type of trucking, the inner on the entertainment side, because that's a whole different division. And that's something that I haven't even touched on as far as you know, getting companies like that on to make the call series. I think I'll start looking into that yeah. uh, next year. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would do that. All right, so with this particular company, I mean, is it is it easy? Did did she mention anything about uh how how easy did how is is it easy to get in? Is it like is it like any other uh? Recruiter she, that well, you'll she, call. Well, she it's a little tedious to get in. They don't really, like she said they don't really, they don't really hire this for anybody. Um, to jump on, it's a little bit tedious. Just kind of like, kind of like, you know how Landstar is. You know, they they check all the bells and whistles a little bit tenfold. Mm, okay, okay. So this is not like uh, a out of a uh, out of school jump right into their truck type deal this is like you got to at least have have some uh trucking experience like maybe like three four years at least i think when we talk about i think it's two years two years okay i think it is i think 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 it's two years okay okay all right well uh like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and look into that uh starting next year uh Shape man, let's let's talk about uh let's let's talk about truckers feeding the homeless. Um, she she did mention uh how it started and how it progressed. Now, um, I had Choice Mass on the show when they when they first did it. Like they they had an Airbnb. Uh, it was a couple of guys from the stoop. Uh, they all met up to go to the truck show. And they just, you know, they had some extra food and it was like, yo, I don't, you know, instead of throwing away, like, you know, how restaurants mm-hmm. do, you know, they was like, mm-hmm. yo, let's just take this out and just give it to the people. And they, they, they had success with that. And then they came back again to do it again. Uh, I think the pandemic kind of shut down operations uh, when they was planning on doing it for Baltimore, if I'm not mistaken. But where, um, how, uh, how does she explain how all of it came together and where they at now with, with truckers feeding the homeless? Well, she said her and her and, uh, choice was the ones that really kind of brainstorm at it and everybody just kind of fell on their behind, you know, showing support. Um, and you know, they just, came together. You know, on the live she said they started LLC for it, I think. Uh successfully. Oh I think it's an LLC or non party. You have to watch the video if you can hear it through the audio. But um so it really was their idea and you know they you know they probably went on the pro for support and it just kinda something just fell in love with doing. If you go back and watch the videos over the years and they did do it all collectively, they did do a lot. Yeah, they, they did. Yeah, they had pallets on trucks, real life pallets you see in Walmart, and distributions delivered. So they whole heart was in it. You as, know what I'm saying? So as, of course, a, as a matter of fact, um, 
if I'm not mistaken, Choice Mass just dropped a, a three-part video on his channel. So guys, go over there and check out Choice Mass. Uh, uh, truckers feeding the homeless. Uh, Baltimore, actually. They, they, they actually got Baltimore out the way. They, they linked up with, uh, with one of the homeless shelters and, um, and, and put it together. They, they gave out clothes, um, socks, shirts, shoes. <laughs> I don't know about the shoes, but shirts, socks, uh, hygiene packets. Uh, this was a real nice, uh, this was a real nice thing that, uh, that, that, that group of truckers, um, that came together to do that. Um, so definitely go over there yeah. and check out Choice Mass here, you know, on his channel. He has a little bit more detail. It's a three part, uh, it's a three part video. So definitely go over there and, uh, and, uh, check it out. Uh, back to awesome trucker, man. Um, man, she was in an accident. Wow. That, I mean, yeah. In a real bad And you know what? Yeah. You, you know what? Um, you know what? For as long as we've been out here, for as long as we've been out here, we, we, we going to get into some kind of accident, whether it's a fender bender or actually being in the, in the ditch and in, in awesome truckers case, uh, she, what she slid off she slid off the highway into a ditch and it wasn't nothing wrong with the yeah. nothing wrong with the truck uh we you know what we we're going to just save that part of the information for your video so guys if y'all want to know the 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 rest of the story on uh on uh awesome truckers miraculously because the, it it was a miracle I'm going to have to say that, that she was, that she survived that accident. So definitely go over to Shape's channel and, uh, and, uh, peep out that part of the conversation. But overall, Shape, I'm going to have to give it to you, man. I'm going to have to give it to you. Okay. Awesome, awesome conversation. Guys, definitely go over there and check out, uh, uh, Shape World's. Uh, channel Shape World 15 on YouTube. Uh, great conversation with with the awesome trucker man. Great conversation. Uh, Shape man, what um, what I mean, what I mean, she she's from what I I was in the whole live feed, and I'm over here like inspiring. So. Before we get on up out of here, did I mean did she inspire you, man? I mean, what's What's up now? You gonna you gonna you gonna become you gonna become a passport sister? What's up? What's up? You know we got the sport bros. You gonna you know y'all y'all need to get it together. You and AT could start it. The passport sisters. What's up? What's what's up? How, how, how did this how did how did this conversation how did this conversation in, in influenced influence you and incited you? And I mean what I mean tell me a little bit about how you feeling right now? Um, I'm definitely over, overcome with inspiration for sis because sis has been driving, I think, one year longer than me. You understand? And she's been one of the ones that's me since my swift days. So it's always good to see somebody that's been in trucking for so long. A trucker can really weigh you down. You know what I'm saying? You may get in there. Somebody that I know behind the scenes that loved it, loved what it did, was exclamated by trucking and they trucks are parked or they trucks are totaled out or doing something personal. So to see somebody that you've been watching for years keep thriving, of course, you can't do nothing but get inspired, you know? Um, now, as far as the passport she goes, I don't know what she really up to. So she going to no damn Spain. We have to wait and see on that. <laughs> we have to wait and see what she really doing. I don't want to go to Spain now. My little fat ass, but we'll um, see. Why, why are you tripping? Why, why are you tripping, Shape? You, you, you travel. You, you, you a passport, sis. You just don't want to say you are. You, you, you've been to some, uh, some, 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 some exotic places. I believe the last one that you went to was, was what was it? Honduras? Hawaii. Hawaii? So I went to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii, Trace. 
Yeah. yeah. yeah so you, 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 you a passport sister. Come on now. Oh my God. I ain't a passport. Not yet, but next year I will be. Good Lord say the same. Well, Shape Man, thank you very much for uh giving me a little bit of your time and 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 chopping it up with me. I'm 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 here to say that I, I am I am in awe of this conversation that you had with uh the Woo! awesome trucker man. Um hopefully uh hopefully this would inspire you to, you know, probably get back at it and maybe, you know, <laughs> Look, I'm not even gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm excited right now. We just drinking the, we drinking the Kool Aid, so we don't even have to go there. So, Shape World, everybody, go over there and check out uh, Shape World 15's channel, uh, the Awesome Trucker, uh, interview, great interview, great times. We'll talk later. Uh, Pimp CPA trio figure, polo fuck that hill figure. Made myself a ghetto star on the slab, sipping bar, smoking weed and selling white. Them other niggas work don't come back right. That's how niggas get popped, trying to get the cheaper price. Watch your paper, guard your life. Come on to these niggas ain't living right. Keep your pistol, fuck a fight. Cause niggas out here.